Oh, and speaking of speaking of uh, late capitalism, we have another entry into our segment. What was that? What is the name of that uh, that set piece? Heroes of late capitalism. All right, let's call it Heroes of late capitalism, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is when we bring you the heartwarming uh, stories of. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. Uh, the heartwarming stories of the opportunities our society gives for people to be absolutely generous. Isn't that wonderful? Aren't people special? People are so special that, well, let's play this. Thank you. Robert Goodman and Don McKeach just met. They have a lot in common. They're both teachers and work in Palm Beach Gardens. They've also both been sick on the job. They're now forever connected. There's this whole big family that we don't even know that we have, and I know for sure that we really have it. The final numbers aren't in yet, but Don is one of dozens of teachers and other district workers who donated their sick time to Robert. I know that they probably needed a new fax machine. Don's donation comes full circle. Three years ago, a week into school, her kidneys failed, and her peers stepped up with care and compassion when she was out of work. What happened to the sound? Uh, during that treatment, I thought, how am I going to do this? By Thursday, he learned there were enough sick days donated that he would have enough sick time to heal without worry. When you help someone and you give something to someone, and it's just that one-on-one, -on -one, that's always very special. But when there's a deluge of help in four days, it's, it changes you. It's Robert's mission now to thank everyone. As he says, there's a new ingredient added to the recipe of who he is. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> that is very sweet. It is very sweet. And so disgusting that all these people have to give up their uh, sick time, right? This is going to be like an ongoing thing. It's sort of like almost a period scheme of, of sick time where, oh, I'm sorry, I gave up my sick days so I can't deal with my illness. So other people will have to give to me and it'll just keep rolling and rolling. How about this? How about we just pass a law that says if you have cancer and you need extra sick time, you get extra sick time. That, that's just the way things are, Sam. There are a limited number of sick days in the world to go around. That's you right. You can't just create more out of thin air. Nature only produces so many sick time days. I don't know. I guess I just kind of like freedom. So, <laughs> Exactly. There, there has to be freedom to offer only a limited number of sick days. And if someone gets cancer, that cancer has to be held to some type of personal account. And, you know, you can't just have, let cancers just get away with being so cancerous that they require more sick days than we give out. Or choose to not get it in the first place. That's I don't thing. hear anything about personal responsibility. Such a moral hazard right. in allowing people to have the sick days that they need when they have cancer. Do you really want to take away the, you know, generosity of the human spirit by giving it to the state? That's the problem is that we would never have, like what would we be watching if we didn't have these stories of people getting together to give a teacher who doesn't have a car, a car? Or that story about the, the kid, the multiple kids, the multiple stories of kids who are running lemonade stands so that their, their brother or their mom can get their kidney transplant. Yeah, I mean, that's we good would content. lose out on this. It's good content. And then we criticize the content as bitter leftists. And then... We monetize those videos. It's That's right. the Capitalism, cycle. Baby. Of, yeah, it's <laughs> the circle of life. Exactly. So, and all like all circles of life, it depends on irrational, relentless human cruelty and suffering. And if we're lucky, there will be an ad on that YouTube That's uh, that, that will promote, you know, and the then, Proud Boys or some <laughs> other wretched uh, yeah. conservative. Yeah, they've really been doing we'll that go, hard lately. Yeah, big time. Are they doing that on purpose? Coffee. They got uh, money. They got a lot of money. And I don't know if they're doing it to, to, to troll or they're just doing it because they, they think they can get uh, viewers that way. Possible. Very possible. Watch the full ads.